Hello, Cancer and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at a fork in the road tarot reading. This is going to be for those of you that have a decision to make. You're going to look at the two options and what the potential outcome is going to be in each of these options. So, if you guys find the message is helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you guys would like future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome and I upload messages daily. So Cancer, let's see what we can see for you. Let's see what comes out in the tarot reading for you guys. It's always interesting to see how these messages turn out. <laughs> Fork in the road. Well, we know that there's a decision to make. That's why we're here. So please keep in mind, Cancer, these messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title if there's something in the title that resonates there's most likely something here in the message you are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart if you don't know about other signs in your birth chart i do have a website linked below it is astrocafe.com i believe um and they offer free birth chart mappings so it's just um an overview it's not really that in depth but all you need is your birth date, your birth time, and your location. And they can get that all squared away for you. So go ahead and check that out. I do feel like it's helpful to know that information if you're here on YouTube checking out any readers. Um, because that's why they say check your moon, your rising, your Venus ascending. So check it out. Get familiar. Also, please keep in mind, guys, um, I do a drawing here every month. So if you are feeling it's resonating or you want to get entered into the drawing, comment your astrological sign below in the comment section and that'll get you entered into the drawing. And last but certainly not least, I pull a power thought card at the end of every message. So if the message is resonating, I, I highly recommend to stay um, just to give it that little positive affirmation at the end. So, Cancer. Fork in the road, time for a nap, and Treasure Island. So with Fork in the road, there's definitely a decision. There's definitely a decision that needs to be made. I feel like you have been thinking about this a lot. So let's see. The reason why I say you've been thinking about this a lot is because there's a need to let it rest. Um... The decision might come subconsciously. The choice, the right choice might come subconsciously. So let's see. So that's going to be like a message through your dreams. Maybe like you see some words on a billboard that stand out to you that kind of just give you like an aha moment. Something along those lines. So let's see here, Cancer, what we can see for you guys. Remember, guys, these messages are general. These fork in the road messages are not time stamped. So they're going to resonate whenever you see them. There is no date, basically. We're not going to have a, I'm not channeling a specific time. Let's see. Most important message for Cancer Spirit. What does Cancer need to see? First card's going to be you, the journey you're on, the position that you're taking in this. The Queen of Pentacles. So this card is talking about nurturing, caring, loving energy. It also talks about self-care, self-love. The next card out, we have Two of Cups. And 
we have the King of Wands. So this is telling me that there's a choice here between um, relationships or between partners. Okay, on one hand, you have a past life connection. The Two of Cups, Six of Cups combination is like a past life, soulmate, a spiritual union. Um, sometimes it's a marriage. Definitely a romantic partnership. Um, emotional ties. A lot of times with the Six of Cups, this is somebody that you've dated before or that you have a very deep connection with. Okay, on the other side, we have the King of Wands and the Page of Swords. So everybody knows the Page of Swords is the spy card, if you watch tarot. So the King of Wands is a person who is compassionate. They're passionate about what they do. They probably have goals that they're working towards, um, very intelligent. But there's also a flip side to this, okay? And with the Page of Swords next to it, I feel like they may be exuding a little bit of the negative qualities that a King of Wands can exude, which is jealousy, um, trying to be controlling, trying to manipulate the situation to for their best interests, okay? On the bottom of the deck, we have the Devil. So there's definitely some toxic ties here. And then we have the four of wands. So these connections, this is telling me that these connections are very similar. That may be why it's hard. This decision is hard to make because I feel like you're trying to figure out which one is your twin flame, a soulmate you know, the, the longevity relationship, past life connection, even though I just want to say really quickly that, um, soulmate connections, twin flame connections, they're really just a tool for us to use along our ascension journey, um, because it is a long journey and those type of connections come in and out of our lives throughout our lives, our lifetimes. Okay. There's also definitely a lesson that you need to learn here with the karmic situation as well. Okay. So one thing that I'm going to say is trust your intuition. Trust your intuition at the time. You know, if you are being pulled toward this person and you're going to be friends, whatever the case may be, trust that everything happens for a reason. Okay, there's a lesson, something that you need to learn from that connection, even if it's how to say no. That's still a lesson, okay? And all these lessons are going to add up to the cultivation of this spiritual union. That's why, the, that's why these ties feel so similar, because sometimes soulmate connections can feel very karmic because there's several lessons that we go through life learning from this person. Trust your intuition though. You are being guided through this situation is the sense that I'm getting. I also feel like this king of wands, whoever this is representing, I feel like that's the toxic, that's the karmic. This very well could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. Um, they could just be exuding fire sign traits or have fire within their chart. But I feel like um, this person, when you guys aren't around each other, they may be trying to spy on you or figure you out. Maybe they watch your social media. They could even be literally stalking you because... The King of Wands in the reverse is, that's one of the traits. So trust your intuition. I do feel like you, if you take a break from both of these connections, you're going to feel a stronger pull towards one than the other. That's what, that's the past life connection. The connection you feel the strongest pull towards 
that's the past life twin flame. The other is most likely the karmic. So, trust your intuition. All in all, here, Cancer, ultimately you're going to choose your soulmate, right? That's the the end all be all relationship for everybody. But as I said before, there's still a lesson that you need to learn with this karmic. So don't discredit that either. And trust your intuition again. Like if you're feeling pulled in one direction, trust that. The soul truth card that's coming out for you, Cancer, is what am I grateful for right now? Adopt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all our problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our state. Today's soul action. The universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that on which we are focused. Close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and think of three things for which you are grateful today. Notice the abundance growing inside of you. So, Cancer, that is the message that I have for you guys coming out for your fork in the road reading. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.